Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some brownies from Grayston Bakery. I have the brown sugar blondie, the chocolate fudge brownie. And I have the vegan fudge brownie. These were $1.99 each at Whole Foods, and they were with the cookies. So the cookie aisle, they're right there in the cookie aisle. Uh, they each have, uh, they come with a little date on them. You just need to make sure that you look at that date because they do have a shorter shelf life than other cookies and brownies. Uh, it says, brown sugar blondie, eat brownies, change lives. Delicious since 1982. One brownie, 2.5 ounces or 71 grams is 290 calories. That's not that bad for the size. I mean, that's a pretty good size. So, yes, it is. It's, it's, a, it's a good size brownie. So, let's see. It looks more like a chocolate chip cookie. It says, we help people facing, facing barriers to employment through open hiring. When people want to work, we give them a chance, no questions asked. It's workforce development that invests in people and builds communities, businesses, and a better world. Let's get to work. Grayston.org forward slash work. And they are in Yonkers, New York. GraystonBakery.com. It's really hard to read white writing on yellow, so I had to read it. It's the same thing. Now, see, that reminds me more of a cookie dough kind of flavor than it does a brownie. Oh, it is a blondie. Blondies are more vanilla flavor. So, mm -hmm. I guess, it, yeah, I guess it is kind of a blondie. It's kind of got a gooey texture. It does, but then that top layer... It's kind of crisp. Not yeah, crisp, but... Like a crusty. flake. Yeah. It's got a crust on it. Yes. <laughs> not a bad one. But it is nice. It's a classic blondie. Yeah, it's not overly sweet. No. Um... But it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's I can understand, though, uh, why you would want to get that fresh. Yeah. You can tell that that doesn't have a lot of extra stuff in it, mm -hmm. a lot of preservatives and stuff. Yeah, I bet you it'd get hard as a brick if it's set. I bet it would, long. too, because <laughs> it, it's like, honestly, it reminds you of something you make at home. Yeah. So, and you know that stuff doesn't last forever. Uh, so, this is the chocolate fudge brownie. It is 330 calories. Wow, 300. Yeah. 3.30 for chocolate fudge. It looks good. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of people would probably buy these and half them or whatever, you know, make them last a little while. Especially when you're paying $1.99, you know. I'm wondering if this Grayson Bakery, if they make anything else besides these brownies. Do they make cakes or cookies or anything like that? I like the flavor of that immediately better than the blondie. It has more flavor, this wine. Yeah, that chocolate has just like has a lot more flavor. Yeah, I agree. It's a little dark on the dark side though, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like a dark chocolate fudge. It's not um it's yeah, it's not your uh, sweet milk chocolate. This is if you buy the, the dark chocolate brownies, that's what this yeah. is. No. But it's still good though. It's it really still good. has sweetness to it the as texture. well. And yes, the, the texture is terrific. Mm -hmm. um, it's not gooey. It's no, not, but it's kind of soft in the middle with a, like, a, like a crust on the top. Yeah. So now this is a <laughs> vegan fudge brownie and it is 290 calories. It's a little bit less calories. So yeah, so it's fear. Ooh, it feels different. Is this, it oh, it's very soft. This feels like. Um, and uh, you know how you have like the little Debbie brownie with the icing? The cosmic brownies. Or yeah, whatever. with the icing. That's more what this is. It like has a layer of icing. It, it doesn't, but it, it's like it. It's right. So like these are, are a little uh, firm and this one's right, not. This soft. one's very, very soft. So the regular brownie was 330 and this is 290. Cut that little thin, but that's okay. No, go ahead. Yeah, completely different texture. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever they use to make it vegan, I guess it doesn't dry out as much as like to form that crust. The flavor so is. 
is good, but I, 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 it doesn't come across as sweet as the mm -hmm. regular. No, and almost... There's a little bit of bitterness to it. Yeah, and it's a different flavor. Almost yeah. like they've used some kind of uh, lentil bean or something, a, a gorgonzo bean, or you know what? Some, it, it is they've a little... They've used some kind of uh, different kind of whatever flour or whatever they use. It's, it's some... They use barley flour, cocoa powder, semi-sweet mm -hmm. chocolate, could be the know. barley flour adding the different flavors. Something's, there's definitely a difference there, but if yes. you're vegan, you're probably mm. already eating things that taste a little different anyway. So. Right. Um, and it still is good. It's, it's good. just that between the two, normally you're not going to probably buy them and compare them to us outside like we are. Uh, but between the two, the chocolate fudge brownie, it really is sweeter. Even though it's dark, yeah. it's sweeter than the vegan one. I think if, you were, if you're not vegan and you bought the vegan one, you would probably taste it and go... There's something a little different about that, and right. you may or may not like it. Right. Whereas you buy the regular fudge brownie, you're going to go, hmm, this is fudge brownie. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, the, the chocolate fudge brownie is definitely my Yeah, choice. the blondie's okay. It's just very, very light on flavor. Yeah, but I do think it, they're good quality yeah. and everything. But like I said, just watch, make sure you're looking at the, the, dates. the dates. Yeah, to make sure you get the freshest ones. So I'll have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.